Welcome back guys, it's going to be a mixed bag today. I'm in the shed because I'm getting the jumps out. I'm going to have a little bit of practice in the garden with the big rock, see if that mount holds up. So stick around, you'll get to see that as well. Well, I struggle getting these jumps out here. Let's take a look at the Zero with contact foams on, running on grass and gravel on 2S. Fairly fast though. So he has the zero setup guys, the motor there, 3650, it's a 3900 kV motor in the ASC is the 10BL 120 amp, so that'll do 2 to 3S. Time for a little bit of 3S action, see how she goes on this grass. Here we go. Wait. Oh that is rapid. <laughs> what a white boat. She lives to fight another day. And that there guys is how it looks like after a 3S pass on grass. What can I say? It's a grass cutter, it's a scoop. I'll try and work something out, maybe make some arches or something. Is it worth it for the WL toys? I have no idea, the Rolalo and all the rest of it seems to be taken over guys. But anyways, let's get the big rock down. We'll have a little bit of practice in the garden. I know I've got the Max 8 in the big rock, but for in the garden we're just going to be running 3S Zop Power. Well, would you believe it, I was just getting my intro sorted for the big rock and the practice. And I've got issues already, let's have a look. Right, I've just got it switched off so we can hear it. It's got a little click there, so to me it sounds like I've took a tooth or two out the, uh, the slipper clutch. The mount itself, that's looking absolutely solid as you can see, and I haven't got the standoff in. I'll switch it on, I guess we'll hear what it sounds like when it's running. I've got a little X marks. One-handed backflip, ready? Oh, and look at that, as you can see, I've picked up a little crack in the body there. Not half as bad as Rob's RC Insanity though. He split his all the way down that back panel. <laughs> well, it's on the bench, as you can see, the drive shaft's out, and if you roll the car, 
the slip has not moving at all so i actually think that it might be the input gear to the diff so i won't know until i take it apart because i've got to take all the bash bar off and then get into it that way but anyways that was awesome it was just a test to see if this is going to survive like the landings on a backflip what have you i think it's going to last so we'll get it to the hate park um but yeah i've got one more question actually will a night row do a backflip i'd might as well try the big rock's given up and i did say it was going to be a mixed bag Well guys, I think this mini heat wave's got me delirious. No chance that that night row was going to do a backflip, but that was hilarious anyways. Let's check out the little bit of damage it's got. Well, straight away, I don't think the spoiler's meant to be in that direction. <laughs> what do we think of that? So what seems to have happened with the rear is it's just pulled out over the top of the screw heads. As you can see there, where it sits over the rear shock tower. And this one's still in it, it's about to pull out, so I can imagine that all I've, all I've got to do is just unscrew that, put it back on, put a washer behind these maybe, and it'll stop it from doing it again, but that's not too bad. As for the steering, you can hear it there, the servo's making all sorts of noises, but no, we've got no steering whatsoever, so what can we do? It was fun though. Anyways guys, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe, and as always, see you guys in the next one. Mm-hmm. <laughs>